Hi there, everyone. I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Rochelle Peart with a tropical update for the evening hours of Saturday, July 25th, 2020. Let's get to your tropical headlines. What's happening right now? The latest news is that Hurricane Hannah has officially made landfall in Texas. And we're going to pull up those graphics here. That was that happened at five o'clock central time, and it was a category one hurricane. Again, this became a hurricane earlier today, and now it has made landfall um, right around Port Mansfield, Texas. Again, that was at 5 p.m. Central Time. Gonzalo has fallen apart. No more advisories coming out of that. It fell apart north of Venezuela and west of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're also going to continue to watch in the Pacific Hurricane Douglas as it moves closer and closer to Hawaii. Multiple alerts in place for the island state. We're going to first talk about Hannah here. We're looking at the tropical satellite, and you can see that eye in those last couple of frames as it makes landfall, again, officially making landfall, the first hurricane to make landfall of the season and the first hurricane of the season as well in the Atlantic. Taking a look at another view here of that tropical satellite, just to get another look at it, this is the infrared that we're looking at so we can see uh, the temperatures of those cloud tops and some of those deeper colors, those purples and those blacks indicating the higher cloud tops where we're seeing some of those some of that uh, more intense thunderstorm activity. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, it's evident why Hannah was able to strengthen into a hurricane. These sea surface temperatures are in the low to mid and even in some areas the upper 80s. See that 86 down there toward the middle part of your screen. So very warm waters and that's what Hannah was able to hone in on and strengthen into the first hurricane of the season earlier today before making that landfall. Here's a look at those tropical watches and warnings, uh, hurricane watches and warnings still in place, although the, the storm has made landfall, will continue as we see those hurricane conditions, those strong winds of the storm over the next uh, few hours and potentially into tomorrow as well. So here's the latest on Hannah. This is the 6 p.m. advisory. We are looking at that 15 miles north of Port Mansfield, Texas. We have that pressure at 973 millibars, winds at 90 miles an hour, gust at 115 miles an hour. So very strong wind gusts, damage reports coming in, unfortunately. And we also do have storm surge alerts in place for parts of the southern Texas coast. And you also see Corpus Christi and Brownsville included in some of those alerts as well. As we go through the next day or so, Hannah continues to move inland. Even by early tomorrow morning, a tropical storm with about 60 mile an hour winds falling apart, tropical depression by tomorrow afternoon, and eventually we'll have some remnants over parts of northern and north central Mexico. Now, let's, uh, let's head over to the east just a bit. We're going to talk about Hurricane Douglas here. Here's what it looks like on that tropical satellite as it inches closer and closer to the Aloha State, the 50th state. Uh, we're continuing to keep an eye on this. And just to take another look at Douglas on the tropical satellite, this is the infrared once again looking at some of those cloud tops. And you can see those reds indicating higher cloud tops, which means stronger thunderstorm activity around that eye or in the eye wall of that storm. Now, something that's a little bit different between Hannah and Douglas is the sea surface temperatures that the storms are feeding on. You saw with Hannah, we had low to mid 80s. And with Douglas, it's moving into areas that are slightly warmer. The storm was a major hurricane um, on Friday, but it moved into cooler water. So it did decrease in strength just a bit. But as it moves into the next couple of days, we're going to be talking about those sea surface temperatures right around that sweet spot, that 80 degree uh, Fahrenheit, where we start to see some of those storms honing in on that sea surface temperature and potentially gaining strength. Now, I don't think that's going to be the case with Douglas. We'll take a look at that um, outlook from the National Hurricane Center right now. So here's the latest advisory. It's moving west-northwest at 18 miles an hour, 325 miles east of Hilo, Hawaii, and then 520 miles east-southeast of Honolulu. It's a Category 1 storm. It's at the same strength as Hurricane Hannah, winds at 90 miles an hour and those gusts to 115. Taking a look at the next few hours, you do see as we head into Sunday, still a hurricane, 80 miles an hour, and then even into Monday morning, still with hurricane strength, weak hurricane strength, but hurricane strength nonetheless at 75 miles an hour. And we're gonna take a look now at the tropical watches and warnings. You can see hurricane watches in place, tropical storm watches and warnings across the entire, pretty much the entire Aloha State under some form of tropical alert for Hurricane Douglas. 
Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the history uh, with Hawaii and the tropical systems that potentially move through that area. These are the storms that have moved within 300 miles of Honolulu. Brushes are common, but direct hits are very rare. So we're talking about here uh, a few of the storms that have made landfall in Hawaii since 2000. Uh, and these are all tropical storms that we're looking at here, but I do want to also take a look at Hawaii's hurricane history. Now, there have only been two storms on record, two hurricanes that have made a direct landfall in Hawaii. The last one was Iniki, Category 4 storm back in 1992. And then in 1959, we had Category 1 hurricane Dot, and both of those made landfalls in Kauai. So we are going to continue to watch Douglas as it moves close to um, the state of Hawaii over the next day or so, day and a half or so. So something to certainly keep an eye on. Now I'm going to take you back off to the west. We're going to talk about Invest 92L. Again, remember Gonzalo has fallen apart, no longer an issue for us. So this is Invest 92L, the next area that we are going to be keeping a very close eye on. That's because within the next five days, it has a 70% chance of developing tropical characteristics. Does look like we are going to see a tropical depression come out of this, and you're seeing it moving across back off to the west, including some of those windward islands in the Southern Caribbean. You can see the island nation of Barbados there in the western part of that hatched red area. So something, again, we're going to continue to keep an eye on. And the next storm name, we're on the eye storm already. Isaias is the next storm name in the Atlantic. So Again, we're seeing these storms coming and we're gonna to continue to move through the rest of the season. We still have not hit that peak hurricane season, which is right around the middle part of um, September. So if you'd like to follow me on social media, here's where you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Also, make sure you subscribe to the 13 News Now YouTube page. We're putting out these updates multiple times per day if we can. So make sure you come back here, subscribe to our channel, tap the bell so you're notified every time we drop a new tropical video.